Sand Blaster. Shoots abrasive materials at insane speeds using compressed air to strip and smooth surfaces. Now I've had my skin ripped off by sandpaper more times than I can count. So naturally, I had to wonder what happens when I take sanding to the absolute extreme. And more importantly, could a Sand Blaster actually save you in a self-defense situation? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's by blasting myself into oblivion. As always, don't try anything you see in this video, unless you really hate having skin. For this experiment, we got a handheld sand blaster that's gravity fed. It's gonna be powered by a five horsepower gas air compressor. Now I have a variety of abrasives. It's gonna start from pretty fine and it's gonna get more coarse as we go. Now I want to be safe about this because as we all know, I got a slingshot ball stuck in my leg and we're firing something at high speeds and it's tiny. We'll be safe, don't worry. We won't have you go to the hospital again. Exactly, so we're gonna start at range, work ourselves in and work our way up to a uh, grittier abrasive. I do have some dead skin on me, so maybe you could help oh, get me that off, yeah. you know? We could peel that off for yeah. you. It'd this is easy. a great tool for that. And I think it would be painless. I'll put a bet on that. I, no, I don't want to. <laughs> okay, let's start with the weakest abrasive. All right, excuse the loudness. The air compressor has to run. So this is spraying at full power. We have loaded it with baking soda. We're gonna test it at two feet into my stomach for one second, just to get a gauge of things. You bought a lot of baking soda. You better be baking some cookies later. You can have some. I'll take them all. <laughs> Not the cookies, the baking soda. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, this is good. It's like three feet. Three feet. You look so shiny. Okay, okay, okay. That's a, that, I learned a lot there. That it's was so, very comforting. I didn't know baking soda was so sparkly. Yeah, it's really sticking because I'm a little bit sweaty. It's hot out today. You know what, at that range, it is, it stings. Mm -hmm. That is a very fine powder, not too bad. So I say we bring it into like a foot, just do the quickest trigger pull. Let's assess. If I think it's okay, we'll do another blast like six inches. Enough of a trigger pull to make a smiley face? We should try it. Okay. <laughs> Before we make the smiley face, a one second blast at about a foot to the center. Ah! <laughs> I noticed it right away. Yeah, that's good. My nipple! <laughs> right on the nipple. My nipple! That was a great shot. Yeah, you I'm have not... too much power with that. I do. I took my mask off though, so you can't spray me. Safety code. So anytime you have the mask on, I can spray you is what you're saying? That's not what I'm saying. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let the slow-mo save. Uh, before we use the smiley face, let's do a trigger pull at like, just super close. Just one trigger pull. Okay. Yeah. I really want to see if it can, we can get like a circle to be ripped. It did peel a little skin here. It almost looked like it's making a rash on me. <sighs> one trigger pull. Not even a bleep out of you. You want to get closer? I feel like that was pretty damn close. Oh, my glasses! <laughs> my glasses! Oh, I thought it was just the mask. <laughs> no, no, the glasses too! Ah, uh, my Wait. bad. That's, all right, that's my fault. That's my fault. Oh my God, <laughs> you're a loose cannon over here. Hmm. Okay, I guess like do a centimeter one second blast. You want to just do like a quick pass by? Sure. Like, Nothing. We gotta up the grit. It definitely hurts, it looks... but I agree. Let's go to salt. Ooh, my yeah. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a good safety test. We could get pretty close. It caused some redness. It definitely stings. My whole stomach stings. I don't think we could do the ideal smiley face with that grit. Let's move on to salt. Scared to say in my stomach again, but oh. I guess we can try because the rest of it's gonna be on my legs. That one's, salt's gonna make you bleed. I'll put money on that one. How much? 20. My hands are kind of sweaty and nervous. It's humid out, like. Good cover up. Also, I peed on my hands a little bit before we came out here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> up next in the sand blaster, we have plain salt. You should be a veteran of salt by now, so you should take this well. I think so. I mean, we, we shot it into me a few times and poured it on my wounds. You're a salty guy. I think this will be fine. Uh, maybe let's try my, my chest, more of a fresh canvas in my stomach. My stomach is kind of red. Let's start safe. One second blast at like six inches. I'm really being safe. Yeah, we've turned a new cheek since the slingshot incident, even though we threw a giant boulder into that slingshot injury last week. 
That was Jake's call. Well, it was my call. He was, safety advisor's been off for a while. But he got back on duty. Wait, no, you're supposed to be on duty on that video. No, I'm on duty now after oh. the Slingshot podcast. After it got posted. Yeah. Loophole. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a one trigger pull from close range. No! Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait. That was. It yeah. looks infected already. Yeah, that was. <laughs> that was gnarly. Oh my god, did you see it just get stripped? Went straight into my mouth. Probably some <laughs> skin too. Jake, if you want to zoom in on that. That. Oh, that hurt. That and it stinks. Wow. And we're going up from this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I say do a strip across my my stomach and then we'll move up. I'll go high stomach. You took it well. Well, it didn't feel well. My God. Oh. Looks like the marking from a brawl. Well, I guess I owe you $20. I definitely am bleeding. Oh, cool. <laughs> you totally forgot about <laughs> it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. Well, now I'm a little curious. What if we see how long I can take it into like the side of my leg before we go up in abrasive? We could keep digging until we find the ball with this. I thought about that, actually. Yeah. 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 Uh, but let's not do that because I'm calling to schedule the surgery. Oh, you're getting it? Oh, yeah, they're yeah, voted to they get it voted out. voted to get it out. And I think a lot of it was out of concern for the fact that I have a metal ball in my leg and we hit it, like, with a boulder. How much do you think it'll sell on eBay? I'd be happy if I, it sells for, like, 10 bucks. I'm, I'm listing it for 25 cents. Jake, what's your highest bid? Three. Oh, wow. $400. Oh, wow, Mark! <laughs> Mark's setting the bid at 400 <laughs> Just trying to get a bonus. This year. <laughs> He's getting a cut from the sale. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hear me out. We're gonna hold it onto my leg until I back out. Okay. okay. I think that's a good distance. Okay. Good. Ah. Oh. 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 oh! I saw your skin ripping away. Oh. 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 Supposed to be on duty. I failed. Dang. <laughs> oh. We're only halfway through, bud. Don't be running away. We got a lot more to go. We got a lot more to go, bud. We got a lot more to go. We're not doing that again. We found the limit. It was just like happening in front of my eyes. Just hey! skin peeling away. I'm like, ah. When's he going to stop? <laughs> I stopped because I'm yeah. just like, I can see him. Like, no. I think it, coincidentally, I was at the, about the limit of like, I'm going to pull my leg away. Jake, did you get a good shot of that? Take a look. A bug's on it. It's already healing. Yeah. It's bruised already. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> and I am, I don't know if that sweater pus up here. Humbled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to slap a bandaid on this one. Unfortunately, we got to try some of the coarser abrasives, but maybe we are conservative on the time and the distance. We learned a valuable lesson here. And also, if you haven't liked the video already, that was pretty impressive. I'm impressed with myself. I'm disgusted. Which is worthy of a like. That's right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like the video. We're moving on, unfortunately. <laughs> after I put a Band-Aid on. <laughs> Up next is 1840 Walnut Shells. It's a medium to fine grit. Way grittier than anything we've used so far. What kind of nut guy are you? Pistachios. I'm a almond guy. Those are good too, but pistachios have way better health benefits. More work to use, eat them. But that's the fun, you know? I'm a convenience guy. You can't eat them too quick, you know? You gotta put in a little effort. Yeah, right. And the benefits? That slows it down. Huge. Well, let's speed up the hurting, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, Cause we're doing grittier stuff. Ah! <laughs> you <laughs> We're gonna do about a foot range to the tattoo here, just to assess one trigger pull. We might bring it closer, but I don't think we're gonna do extended trigger pulls at this point. Loser! <laughs> you can try it. One trigger pull here, let's to assess this. Ah! Ah! <laughs> That's gonna rip me to shreds. <laughs> that is so much worse. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that was, that was like a quarter of a second. Well, I think even at some range, it, the impact is harder. Listen, you, you got your stuff off. I'm not gonna shoot. It's okay, come here. I'm scared. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you do this? I can just spray you. Why am I always so nice? Okay. Know. You're a nice guy. I say we do uh, like a six inch headshot to the tattoo. Quick trigger pull? Quick trigger pull. I think it's gonna rip my skin right off instantly. Just a trigger pull. Headshot, right on the forehead. Why am I about to say this? You wanna take the head off? You stop as soon as you see my skin flying. What if I blink really long? Don't blink, <laughs> keep your eyes open. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff coming back at me. It was about to start. It was it about to start ripping my skin off. It was. I'll try to keep attention to it too so I can pull my leg away. Yeah. But you stop as soon as you see the skin start flying. 
And if, uh, if I'm going too long, just slap the gun out of my hand. I'll probably run away before that. So. That too. That was like only a half a second. <laughs> I think he just had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Ooh, a little bit off of the head, head but. It's head, it's head adjacent-ish. Was it more painful? I don't know if it's necessarily, necessarily more painful. I would say it was more scary. What happened here? Man, I just can't. I just <laughs> <laughs> You would think at this point I had learned my lesson and I should stop, but I'm very curious to know what the 12, 20 medium grit walnut shells to do. We're gonna be very safe. We could do one more thing, because in the dental world, we do use these on a smaller scale to clean teeth. Are you about to suggest we blast my teeth? It would really white. No, are you fine? No. It really white. You can try that, yeah. Mm. I'll do baking soda, we'll blast your teeth. I got it. I got a job to go back to. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't suggest stuff like that then. Okay, 1220, medium grit walnut shells. Uh, two tests, we'll do a, a one foot test, trigger pull, and then we'll do like a three to six inch trigger pull. I think we're gonna stop there. I'm just curious to see if this increased grit rips the skin off faster, but I don't wanna end up like this again. You only want two big holes in you this time? Two and a half? Yeah, two and a half. Okay. Okay. For all we know, at close range, might blow a hole into me instantly. So that's what we're about to find out. We are. One foot safety test into the side of my leg. Trigger pull only. If this is really bad, we stop. It's quite the spread. Okay, close range test. Uh, just a trigger pull. I thought you said you only wanted two holes. Is this is just a trigger pull. Just a trigger pull? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, that's much worse. Yeah. Yeah, we're not doing that for any extended period of time. Yeah, you're already, you're already gushing. None of the other ones actually made me like bleed like that from that short of time. So the grit does matter. We did figure that out conclusively. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> well, Mark, what do you want to try? Uh, you can run away. I don't have to get your computer if you do. I'll take it all. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, for all the salt I've poured on your injuries, let's, let's give it back. Okay, close range salt, you rip it away when you're done. I walk I walk into it and then I stand. Okay, that's fun. Uh, do you wanna try that? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you tell me when. I'm just gonna keep it hold down until you run away. You wanna do a test shot? <laughs> I'll hold it up a little bit more. <laughs> that's gonna suck. <laughs> 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 That's far. It, it definitely, it like, it increases exponentially the closer you get to it. On you, Mark. Go! <laughs> that is so bad. <laughs> you didn't even get close. That... <laughs> You're glistening, though. Oh, my God. It's just the buildup of getting like, worse. You want, maybe, like, one trigger pull from here? Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, people are gonna call you a coward. You're a coward. <laughs> I'm just gonna do one trigger pull. Okay. Three, two. I'm okay. <laughs> Damn. It how stinks, the hell, doesn't it? How the hell did you do all this? You're a madman. You're a <laughs> man. <laughs> You're right. Nice reddening. You did get a little peel there. A little exfoliation. You're insane. Every week, I think. <laughs> I'm like, it's not that bad. Then I feel it. I'm like, well, how is he doing this? <laughs> Quick data review. Uh, starting on my stomach. Not too bad. The chest one with the salt, which was close range, yeah. definitely ripped into me a bit. This one was a nasty one. What the? Yeah. They had a Band-Aid on it for oh. a little bit, so I think it spread it out. Nasty. And thank God we didn't do a super close one at any amount of time on that because I think that really would have took chunks out. It's like a thousand little needles just poking you at mm, once. Yeah. Mark, quick clip of your shirt. You're red. Yeah, and you did have a little skin peeling action. I was a little sunburned. Does that affect it? <laughs> I mean, it probably makes the pain worse for sure. Yeah. Because one thing I've learned through this experiment is it definitely seems outer layer skin has the most pain receptors. The farther you go in, the less pain you feel. I'll expand on this in a few days. Mark, what do you think about sand blasters? If someone was wielding it in a self-defense effort, would you attack them still? Um, if I was in my garage and there was a robber, 
and it was portable. Uh -huh. I'd be running around with that thing and just <laughs> hit them. But I'm glad we did this, you know. I, yeah. I, I saw like a comment on it like a few years ago. I'm like, that's a great idea. Yeah. Thanks for the comments, yeah. and I'll see you in a couple days. So long. <laughs> It's time for the Sandblaster data review. Three days after turning myself into a human skin stripping experiment, my stomach took barely any damage from the baking soda, my chest earned a decent sized wound, and my left leg looks absolutely disgusting thanks to the salt. My right leg wasn't much better thanks to the walnut shells, which left another gnarly wound and some scabbing. Fast forward six days and things are finally healing up, but my legs are still probably a week or two away from looking human again. Meanwhile, Mark walked away with minimal stomach damage. Overall, these haven't been the most painful injuries for me to heal from, but they are quite time consuming despite my best efforts. So could a sandblaster actually work as a self-defense weapon if it was all you had? Honestly, yeah. I'd say it packs a punch. As we saw with Mark, it's painful even at range. In close up with the right abrasive, it can tear you up fast. I can only imagine the carnage if you cranked up the PSI and used an even harsher grit. But that's just my take and I'd love to hear what you all think down in the comments. And if you wanna further support these very bad decisions, check out my YouTube memberships or Patreon for exclusive behind the scenes content. Links for that are in the description. And if you enjoyed this this video, you'll love the time I tested the best ways to recover from brutal injuries. I learned a ton of useful information in that video, and it really came in handy for this sandblaster experiment.